Hello everyone, today we are going to be taking a look at the Collector's Edition for Yeast 9, Monstrum Nox. Let's begin! I've actually had this for a bit now, but it's kind of on my backlog of collector's edition. So let's uh, get to unboxing it. All right. Let's see here. All right. Let's see. The box design is nice, and then <laughs> they look like all their own. All in prison, then of course you slide it out. It's just that. It's pretty cool. Box is clean. I like the artwork actually. And just uh, do some adjustments. Apologies for the camera movement. Alright. Pretty good. Let's open this up. Let's see. Oh man, I love these uh, collector's edition. They've always had this flair when it comes to their art books. Like, look at this hard bounding. Look at it. Feels like full leather. This is incredible. Like, it looks like a journal. Holy shit, this is very good. So you got your art book here. You got a couple of keychains. Uh, let's see. I believe this is the art booklet. Oh no, sorry, this is all the wanted posters. Yeah, so you get your... Instead of a... Eh, I don't want to tear it apart. Eh, okay. So this is all the art cards. But instead of your standard art cards, it looks like wanted posters for all the characters. That's pretty good. Do you get that? Uh, I'll put it back here so it's safe. I kind of want to keep <laughs> our cards as neat as possible. You get your the PS4 game itself. You get a Crimson King chibi figure. I am not going to open it. I'll leave it there. You get a novel. Translated, actually. So this is the prequel novel, I believe. So you got that. And okay, so I believe on the marketing material, it does mention it's an OSD sampler. So, um, this one, it does says official soundtrack, but it's only like 15 tracks, more or less. It's not too bad. You can, you can honestly say it's a soundtrack, but uh, again, this is mostly a sound sampler. If you buy the actual soundtrack of uh, Yeast 9, it's mostly going to be, um, what do you call this? It's probably going to be a lot more than 15 tracks. So yeah, you get that. Uh, what else do we have in the box? Yeah, I think that's it. 
overall this is a pretty good amount of uh, material when it comes to uh, this game I absolutely love the art book it's real it feels like leather it's incredible honestly like this is not the first time they did this they did the same thing for um, Lacrimosa of Dana. They have like a weird, it looks like an actual journal and it's hardbound too. Um, it's really nice to be honest. Um, overall, good job NIS. This is a very good collector's edition. So yeah, if, I, uh, if you have any more questions about this uh, collector's edition, leave it down in the comments. I'll try to answer as many as I can. For now guys, see you later.